welcome to Super RC Geeks channel. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your mental seatbelts. Today we're not just talking about toys. We're exploring miniature aerospace engineering masterpieces, turbojet-powered remote-controlled aircraft. Imagine holding a device that combines the complexity of a Boeing 787 engine with the agility of a hummingbird. These models aren't just flown, they're orchestrated. Let me start with a story. In 2018, a team in Germany modified a 1,6 scale MiG-29 RC jet to reach 498 kilometers per hour, faster than most small private planes. That's the magic we're diving into today. Over the next 10 minutes, we'll uncover how these machines work, why they fascinate engineers and hobbyists alike, and what it takes to join this high-octane world. Section 1. Evolution and Engineering. Historical Context. The journey began in the 1980s when engineers miniaturized turbojet engines originally designed for military drones. Early models were unstable and expensive. Think flying blowtorches. But by the 2000s, companies like JetCat and King Tech revolutionized the field with reliable microturbines. How they work. Let's geek out on the science. A turbojet RC engine operates on the Brayton cycle. One compression, a turbine fan spinning at 120,000 RPM, sucks in air, compressing at 3 colon 1. Tube combustion, kerosene or diesel is injected and ignited, reaching 700 degrees Celsius, 1,292 degrees Fahrenheit. Three exhaust, the explosion creates thrust, while residual energy spins the turbine. It's a self-sustaining reaction. No external starter needed once ignited. Materials matter. These aren't your childhood balsa wood planes. Modern airframes use carbon fiber for wings, lighter than aluminum, stronger than steel. In canal alloy and engines, same material as SpaceX's Raptor nozzles. Ceramic coatings to handle exhaust heat. Fun fact. The smallest operational RC jet engine fits in your palm. The PBS TJ-40 produces 88N of thrust and weighs just 1.3 kilograms. Section 2. The pilot's perspective. Skills required. Flying these isn't a point-and-shoot hobby. Here's why. Throttle lag. Unlike electromotors, Jets take two to three seconds to respond. Anticipate. Energy management. Lose speed mid-turn. You'll drop like a brick. Landing approach. Touchdown at 80 to 100 kilometers per hour with no go-around option. Control systems. Modern transmitters like the FR Sky X20 have. Dual rate switches. Adjust control sensitivity mid-flight. Telemetry screens showing fuel flow and turbine temps. GPS tracking for speed slash altitude records. Pilot training and challenges. The learning curve. Think flying drones qualifies you? Think again. Here's what rookie pilots face. Phase one. Spend 20 plus hours practicing on simulators like Phoenix RC, crashing virtual $15,000 models. Phase two. Fly trainer jets with 50% engine power and auto recovery systems. Phase three. Solo flights under mentor supervision. Mandatory until 50 successful landings. Advanced maneuvers. Top pilots like Japan's Akira Yamada, three-time world champion, perform Cobra maneuver. Sudden 110 degrees pitch-up at 250 kilometers per hour without stall. Knife edge passes. Fly sideways with wings perpendicular to the ground. Touch and goes. Land, tap the runway, and relaunch in under three seconds. Disaster scenarios. Flameouts. Engine dies midair. You've got eight seconds to reignite before it becomes a lawn dart. Dutch roll. A violent oscillation caused by overcorrecting, recoverable only by cutting thrust and praying. Imagine this scenario. 
you're flying a 1 colon 8 scale F-16 at 400 kilometers per hour. A hawk mistakes it for prey and attacks. Veteran pilots have literally dogfought birds midair and live to tell the tale. Section 3. Technology and Innovation. Cutting edge trends. One hybrid VTOL models. Jets with electric lift fans for vertical takeoff. No runway needed. Two afterburner kits. Add methanol injectors for realistic blue exhaust flames. Three AI co-pilots. Self-correcting systems that prevent stalls or spins. DIY culture. The community thrives on innovation. Examples. A Ukrainian team 3D printed a functional turbine rotor for one-tenth the commercial cost. Hobbyists use Arduino boards to create custom engine sound modules. Section 4. Safety and Community. Safety protocols. These aren't guidelines, they're commandments. 30 meter rule. No spectators within 30 M of the runway. Fire kits. CO2 extinguishers mandatory at all events. Pre-flight checks. Verify turbine blade integrity with borescope cameras. Global community. From the British Model Flying Association to Japan's RC Jet Fest, enthusiasts share. Workshops. Build sessions at libraries and makerspaces. Charity events. Flights for kids programs at children's hospitals. Competitions, speed challenges, aerobatic contests, and even scale realism judging. Economic impact. This niche hobby fuels a $200 million plus industry. A top tier model like the Skymaster F-15 Eagle costs $12,000 fully equipped, but you can build a basic jet for under $3,000. Closing and call to action. So, why does this matter? Turbojet RC models are more than hobbies. They're test beds for aerospace innovation. Students at MIT used RC jet data to improve wind turbine designs, and NASA's JPL team tests Mars drone concepts using scaled models. Hermes' first demonstrator aircraft, the Quarter Horse, is a small, single-engine, autonomous vehicle designed to do two major things. Touch Mach 5 ever so briefly to collect data and to test their Chimera engine. Want to get involved? Start with these resources. Books, Model Jet Engines by Thomas Camps. YouTube, RC Jet Universe, Channel's Beginner Series. Local clubs, most offer test drive days with trainer jets. Before we open the floor, here's a final thought. The Wright brothers' first flight lasted 12 seconds. Today, with a turbojet RC model, you can experience the thrill of flight in your local park, no pilot's license required. The future of aviation isn't just in hangars, it's in our hands. Who's ready to take to the skies? Let's discuss your burning questions. Enriched elements. One, audience interaction. Oh, by show of hands. How many think 120,000 RPM is faster than a Formula One engine? Answer, yes. F1 engines max at 15,000 RPM. Oh, guess how much fuel a typical jet model burns per minute? Clue, it's less than your morning coffee. Answer, 0.3 to 0.5 liters slash minute. Two, analogies for clarity. Oh, the turbine's compressor works like a supercharged vacuum cleaner. If your vacuum could suck in 200 liters of air per second. Oh, landing one of these is like balancing a bowling ball on a toothpick while riding a skateboard. 3. Visual aid prompts. Oh, if we zoom into this cutaway diagram, you'll see how the combustion chamber mirrors full-scale engines. Just 1 20th the size. Oh, watch this slow MO clip. See the shock diamonds in the exhaust? That's proof of supersonic gas flow. Let me know if you'd like further customization. Rocket.